I witnessed uh, a scene in Sheffield Police Station. There was a lad sitting just a few feet away from me on a bench, and the police were asking him questions, and uh, one of the policemen took his fist and punched him off the seat like that, and kicked him repeatedly down there, and they were telling him to get up off their front floor. You know, that's what they were saying to him, like. The lad couldn't speak because he was up winded and he was crying, and they just picked him up and tossed him in the corner. Well, I'd never thought I would ever have witnessed anything like that, you know. If anybody had said to me last year, oh, you'll be in that sort of situation, I wouldn't have believed it. I didn't think that would have happened. I know, I know police have been heavy handed at times, but the, the violence I've witnessed is, uh, it's, it's serious. You know, people, people, the general people, people in the public don't really want to re accept that that's going on. You know, they, they paint the police out to be little white angels, and they know better than black and tans, because that's what they are. They're just paid thugs that's brought into the likes of this community. Policemen say they're doing a job bashing men's head with a club. When it happens in South Africa, our media cry shame. In England they say it's the pickets to blame. Thatcher gives order to her big boy army, go maim the miners while they starve their families. Policemen and Thatcher, the day will come, you'll have to answer when we have won. How long can they stand idly by and watch their comrades bleed and die? and every day watch these ugly scenes of their mates getting battered on an English green. It could be a friend or it could be a neighbour whose only crime was withdrawing their labour. These same young men when down the hole would be the first to help you dig your coal. So whatever your differences or petty hates, get out on the streets and support your mates. Now I know a nation policeman of disposition sweet and all the children greet him as he patrols his beat. He's kind to dear old ladies who want to cross the street. But he steps on evil doers with his great big plates of meat. Now he'd never bend the evidence or take a bribe, thank you, of course. He's an outright heterosexual and a credit to the falls. He's honest, kind and truthful, fearless, brave and keen, the finest human being that you have ever seen. And he has no racial prejudice, he is totally without sin, protecting Pakistanis from the violence of the schemes. Impartial on the picket line, to the striker he's a friend. He is stainless, faultless, peerless, Conscientious to the end. Oh, oh dear! I was watching a policeman actually clubbing a picket about something awful. I told him a few choice words that he shouldn't be doing it. Another policeman ran up and told me I was nicked. And I said, I don't give a damn about you and no one else. So he arrested me, took me towards the police line. And as he was going, I thought I'd make a little protest. And I put my arm up in a gesture and shouted, we. And with that, he hit me right on the end of the trench. And I didn't make no effort to do no harm to him or any other policeman. Before I came back into the mining industry, I did three years in Ireland, and I'm ashamed of what <coughs> happened out there when I was there. And believe me, it, it's bloody coming, because I can tell how the police are trained, that they're, they're trained by army. The dogs, what they have, aren't always police dogs. They're war dogs, and you can tell by the way they're trained. They're not trained to, uh, if, if they go for anybody, capture, down, and guard. 
that trained for the rip apart and we've we'll, we'll experienced it all, Graves. Yeah. Not like Where the dogs were let loose <laughs> and the war dogs, you know? And what I see in that day is nothing. You can never call the police police in this country because they were running into the crowd with horses and buttons about a yard long and thrashing out at anyone and everything has moved. Regardless what you've done, if you was only standing still, they would have hit you to the ground. And I was listening on telly and the, and the, the commentator was saying the police use their trenches liberally. Well, if he calls that liberally, he must have made the biggest understatement I've ever heard. And television is really biased towards the miners, and I feel really bitter about it because they are showing whenever a miner does a little bit of aggro, it doesn't show the full effect of the police against the miner. <laughs> So they got me on the floor, spread eagled me, a copper on each arm, one on each leg, and they started to hit me arms and legs with a truncheon, methodically, until I had no power or grip left in my arms. Then they just proceeded to twist them straight up my back. I think he wanted to take it home for a souvenir. Now, why the police go with such venom? They seem to enjoy inflicting pain and suffering on the working man. Why? Who tells them to go beat a picket's head? Who tells them to inflict pain, try to kill him? Because that's what they're doing. You stand there in the push, and all you feel all of a sudden, a fellow at side, he'll collapse in a pile on the floor. What's up with you? He's just been kneading the groin. I've seen police do it. I've no skin left on my shins, where they run the boots down your shin. But if you look at him the wrong way, you're nicked. I want to know who gives them the power to do this. Who tells them to beat me, a working man, with a stick? Who is it? I want to know. But whenever we challenge him, and he asks them on whose authority they are acting, they always say, uh, my chiefs, or, or in other words, I'm obeying orders. Well, I well remember the Nuremberg trials, when the Nazis were on trial for gassing six million Jews. And that was exactly the excuse that they used. We were obeying orders. Now, how far are our police prepared to go in obeying their orders? Well, with what I've seen on the picket lines and what I've seen in our village here, I believe there's many of those police will go all the way. Get off in there, bastards! Why is Daddy crying, Mum? Has he got a poorly head? Was it done by men in blue when they dragged us out of bed? No, son. He's shedding tears of pride in the medals he has won. Nay, lad, they're not across his chest. They're out there, every one. Workers cheering in the streets, supporters filling every hall. Sending food by lorry load, responding to the call. Every worker's contribution, no matter if it's small. Everyone's a medal lad, responding to the call. Every tin, a hope expressed, that we will see it through. Every single coin, a prayer, that scabs will one day rue. So when the battle's over, when the Tories are no more, the world will still remember 1984. You know, what people tend to forget, we've had five minors killed on picket lines <coughs> and one child trying to get a bit of coal for heat. Bloody wrong. And we're not going to give in because no way, a hollow victory is no victory. It's going to be a 100% victory. It is going to be a And it's going to be for them lads who put their lives on the line and everybody else. Come gather round your people, you women and your men. Once more our backs up to the wall, we've been attacked again. Which side are you on? 
Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Now Thatcher sent McGregor to smash the NUM Break the workers' unity And I ask you once again Which side are you on? 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 By bully boys in uniforms and fox for riot shields Our comrades' blood is being shed and still they will not yield Which side are you on? 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 And the Tories rant, tear their hair and shout democracy But the kind the Tories have in mind is no for you and me Which side are you on? 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 And the choice is there before us There's just one thing to do Support the minor struggle Or the next in line is you Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Which side are you on? 